Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I got a question for the Monday Q&As that I thought would make a really good video of its own so that people would see it in the title. Because it is a question that people oftentimes ask and it's very misunderstood. Can excess protein be stored as body fat? It's an interesting question because most people eat excess protein who train. The overwhelming majority of people, due to the way magazines have spun this stuff, eat anywhere between two, three to four times as much protein as they actually need to make really good gains in muscle mass when they are bulking or even at maintenance calories. So it becomes a very important question. Now the answer to the question is yes, but I'm not sure that that is really the right answer because that is not necessarily applicable to the real world. That's like saying, is it possible for you to win the lottery? Well, hell yes it is. It's not very likely. And that's the same answer we come to when it comes to surplus protein being stored as fat. Now, generally what will happen to excess protein that your body is not utilizing for any sort of metabolic functions to make enzymes or hormones, or that's going to use to rebuild muscle tissue, things like that, things that it doesn't use it for because your muscle tissue is your only storage site for amino acids. Whatever's left over at the end, your liver converts into carbohydrates converts it into glucose. Now a good chunk of that is just going to go straight to your liver to be stored as liver glycogen, not necessarily released into the bloodstream at any appreciable rate. So it ultimately becomes carbs. So then the next question becomes how likely is it for carbs to be stored as body fat? It's actually pretty low. And it's even lower in people who exercise regularly. And that's a bit of a myth that's been perpetrated. And it's one of those that I think anyone involved in nutrition or dietetics gets really pissed off that gets pushed when people say that carbs get stored as body fat. Because that's complete bullshit. It, it does happen. It can happen. But under normal conditions in an athletic individual who's not on a dreamer bulk, it doesn't really happen at any appreciable rate. Not enough that you would really gain a pound of fat on the scale from it over a year. So actually most of the fat that you have in your body comes from the dietary fat that you ate. It wasn't converted into fat from something else. Now it is possible for your body to convert carbs into fat, but generally, at least at a noticeable rate, I mean something more than a handful of calories a day. I mean if you're only converting 10 calories of carbs to fat a day, that's insignificant over the course of the next year. It's not something you need to worry about. So what generally happens is that your body burns carbs for fuel and if you're on surplus calories, whatever's left over for your calories is coming from your dietary fat because it's not its preferred fuel source for most activities. So it just stores the leftover fat that you ate. So that is how carbs actually make you gain fat is because you're burning them for fuel so you're storing the fat. But if you ate those same number of calories from fat that you ate from carbs, you would still store the excess fat. And anyone arguing otherwise doesn't really know anything about nutrition. They need to go do some basic research. I really can't waste time trying to help those people. So the next question becomes, if I add a ton of extra protein calories to my diet, will I gain fat even though the protein isn't stored as fat? And the answer is yes. But the caveat is you will gain fat at a slower rate than had you added those same calories and carbohydrates. And both the protein and the carbohydrates will make you store fat at a slightly lower rate than if you'd eaten those same calories from extra fat. So yes, a large amount of surplus calories added in the form of protein will cause you to gain more fat, but it will not do so at necessarily the same rate of efficiency because of the thermic effect of protein, the fact that you've got to convert it into glucose. So a lot of things going on. So it's not really as fattening per calorie ultimately if you add a bunch of protein to your diet. But at the end of the day, you have to remember that it does ultimately come down to net calories in and calories out because whatever's left over at the end of the day will generally be, your surplus calories will be from the extra fat that you ate. And even if you're on a fairly low fat diet, your body's probably burning very, very little fat and it's just burning glucose anyways, coming from the protein and the carbs. And it's storing the little bit of fat you're eating so you can still gain fat on a fairly low fat diet. It's ultimately about net energy balance. All right, guys, so that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you next time.